Okay, so what I like to do is I like to adjust my bike before I take it out just because I kind of want to like get on it and go. So on the side of the bike here, you can see that there are a bunch of numbers. And so the numbers just tell you the height of the seat. You kind of want the seat at your hip so that you can uh, get a full extension and not hurt your knees when you're biking. That said, if you're a little bit shaky on biking or you've never ridden a blue bike before, they're a little bit heavier than your, than your average bike, you might want the seat down a little bit more. That'll give you a, a center your, your center of gravity a little bit lower, so you might feel a little bit more comfortable, but I like to have it up at my hip. So I bring it down to just under a four, and then all you do is clip this in, and boom, it's done super, super easy. Um, and then this right here, you can feel it. If you can't push it anymore, then it's tight. You don't have to like push it really, really harder than you can. Um, so on the bike, there's a lot of really cool stuff. Um, I'm just gonna put this down so we can see it. Um, what I like to do is, cause I get really hot and it's really hot today. I take my bag and I put it right in the basket. And so you can put your basket, your bag right in here. And then this just clips right over it and it's not gonna fall out. So it's really, really good. There's another kind of bike, which we don't have one here right now, but it's got like an, uh, an upright basket. And it's got the same thing. You just put your bag in it. That's got a little bit looser elastic. So what I do with that is I wrap it a couple times. Okay, so the last little bit that's pretty important for you to know is how do you brake and how do you shift gears? We got a whole bunch of new bikes, which is awesome because the technology is just moving and moving. So we've got these awesome new gears that are on your right hand. And all you have to do is slide. So if you can see here, I'm just sliding. And it goes from easy to hard. And that's all you do. It's kind of like a motorcycle when you see them doing that little rev. But it's super, super simple. And it's um, dynamic, so you don't have to do it. You don't have to... Um, pedal to see the difference. You can just move it, move it and it will shift. You don't have to pedal too much. And then on both handles, you've got your brakes. We recommend that you use them both balanced. It's one, it's better for the bike, um, but also it stops, it, it makes it so that one side, the front or the back doesn't stop too quick and flip you over the handlebars. So use them both balanced. The other important thing is right here is a bell. And so a lot of people feel uncomfortable using a bell and, and that's totally understandable. Um, but it's really good, especially if you're on an, an, an off-road path, to be able to let people know you're there. You don't have to, you know, not a rude thing at all. It's just notifying others that you're near them.